Hello again. We, some people deny that uh, Aikido and all martial arts, to my knowledge, except MAA and BJJ, seem to be in decline. And I've talked about this before. And I think we need a new generation, not the dinosaurs like myself, you know, been there, enjoyed every second of it, well, not every second, but enjoyed most of it. And um, we've always done the warm ups, you know, preparation of the body. But I think we need to repackage the way we, we get new people and keep them. A lot of the clubs who need to survive, dojos, people who are doing it full time, they usually take on children's classes because that's where you get big numbers, that brings in the money. If we can have a new generation of teachers, I had to learn I was given a class at Realm Belt and I was teaching from fourth queue. So Realm Belt's first queue, anybody who has, doesn't have coloured belts. And I had to learn, made many mistakes, still sometimes come away from a seminar thinking Oh, perhaps I should have said this, or perhaps I should have handled it that way. So it's a, a lifelong learning curve. But I think we need to look at what we can offer the people today. Because martial arts, I think, help to forge the person to become something that they don't know what they're going to be. They come as what they think they want out of it. And they may, if they keep doing it long enough, end up completely a different person. I know my Jane, she has said from time to time, he's a completely different person to the person I first met. I hope for the better. So I think we should repackage what we're doing. We can, you can mix up the variations. If we were to do 15 to 20 minutes of yoga or something where it will slowly ease the body, but the allow the body to have a long-term memory of what we're doing and a repetition of this week after week, perhaps say for the month. Perhaps the Aikidoka could, if they don't want to do it themselves or they don't feel that they're knowledgeable enough, to talk to a, to a local fitness trainer, a yoga teacher, you know, um, spend a few hours going around looking, seeing what you think of people who are teaching fitness, aerobics, anything that is to do with caring for the body, freeing up the joints, S gentle stretching, vigorous works out. I mean, each, each individual who's teaching Aikido, in this case. They can't go against their own personality and their desires or what they think Aikido is. And most classes have an hour and a half, some are two, and it appears to be the maximum students want when we've done our survey. So my hope is for the future that Aikido will, even being a niche 
art. It will survive. It's never been great. It's always been low in numbers. We've always wanted more students. As soon as you get students, you lose students. You keep some, they get to downgrade. They think that that's where they wanted to go. They leave. They had that in their mind all the time. I'll just work towards my black belt. That's all I want to do, to be able to say that I've got a black belt in Aikido. People are very strange and my mind doesn't factor in strange things. I'm strange enough as it is. I try to think logically, you know, if I see somebody with a, a black t-shirt, I wouldn't say, I like your pink t-shirt. they think I'm an idiot, wouldn't they? But if I say, oh, that's a nice black t-shirt, what's the writing say on it? I'm saying things that are logical. So, people coming to Aikido, they first see the advert, Aikido Japanese Martial Art, haven't got a clue what it means unless they've researched it. So let's stop putting on the banners, Aikido, a Japanese Martial Art, beginners classes. You may as well say, well I don't know, but you may as well say something completely alien. If you're trying to reach the public, Hide Aikido somewhere in the body of the advert, not plaster it across them. Put in a beginner's class in well-being and fitness. This is how I think. You're not conning anybody, you're not telling them what they're not going to get. But if you repackage it, so we have 15 to 20 minutes yoga or some kind of fitness, stretching, bodybuilding, but not in a muscular way. Because muscles tend to restrict the flow of Aikido and you need to have a more supple and relaxed body than a tensed one or a muscle bound one. If you tell the people before they come what they're going to get, then they'll know they're going to get 15 to 20 minutes of yoga or fitness. Show that it will be followed then by the master, the teacher of technical Aikido, what is considered a Japanese art of self-defense with locks of joints and explain that and then explain that the last five to ten minutes will be a warm down on what the class was appropriately balanced so if it's a weapons class you would do you still need to stretch just because it's weapons and you're standing doesn't the body will still be tense and stiff, perhaps even more so because of the concentration. So I believe it should be done in every single class. Then have, say, an hour of Aikido, weapons or Tajitsu, and then a 10 minute warm down. Might just be swinging the Ken lightly, or doing Hapugiri, we, we try to, a lot of you perhaps will do this already, but try to make your Aikido clubs and dojos more of a family environment and not a strict martial environment. I remember one sensei making all the students line up outside the dojo when they went and came. They would have to know when they're coming, they'd have a lookout. And they'd all stand there, ready, slightly head bowing. These days, to me, I believe are gone. We can still teach technical, good, strong Aikido. It's a martial art. Whatever you may think, you may think that it has to become more like a dance. 
more spiritual, more harmonious. But we're talking about people who are in everyday life with stresses and strains that need to unwind. Some will want to learn the martial side, but we have to take care of them. In many years to come, like me now at 70, my body's still okay. My knees are shot because I was a motor mechanic all my life, kneeling on concrete. But they were shot when I was in my 30, 32, I believe the surgeon said, you have osteoarthritis in your knees. Give up Aikido or you'll be in a wheelchair by the time you're 50. Well, I'm still here at 70, no wheelchair. And it's because I decided that all this scaremongering meant that I needed to start looking after my body. Think about yourself. Hopefully we've all got a long, long life. And just being good at Aikido, but being replacement knees and hips when you're in your 60s, but to say that you really enjoyed Aikido isn't going to, to me, be a worthwhile thing to have done. You do it as a hobby. It may become a way of life. It has become for me as many of you, I'm sure. But don't wreck yourself through it. And you as teachers, don't wreck the people that entrust themselves with you. Please consider of making Aikido more of a family where you take care of people. This is Osense's dream, I think, for us to love one another, care for one another. And to me, People don't like to stretch, bend, do exercise. The people who have been in my era wanted to get down to the Aikido. They didn't want to do preparation, just, you know, been working hard all day, let's just get on with the Aikido. To me, these times have gone. We're not samurais, we're human beings. We can become very good martial artists as long as we have common sense, know that it's also important to live a good life, bring up a family, do all the things that you have to do outside of Aikido, as well as training in the arts. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe if you're enjoying these. Thank you.